Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. I don't think we can sell those back, can we? If you go and have a look in the garage, stuff we own, right, it'll show us all of our small pallets there. Doesn't show us the pallets. No, it doesn't show us the pallet support. I don't think you can sell those back. I think those, once you've bought them, I think that's it. You're kind of stuck with them. So, I mean, yeah, they are dirt cheap. It just means that we've got to shove them down. And so that, That's what we'll do for a minute. We'll, we'll chuck those in a corner somewhere. Uh, remember what the controls are for this one. You to turn those on. Right, so we'll take those four pallets there and we'll go and dump these somewhere. Not sure we're going to put them. We need to put them somewhere. Let's go. We're we'll going to dump them here. We're we'll going to dump these up here like this. And what's unload? Uh, unload. Right. Marker position. Put them over there. And then Y to unload like that. Perfect. Right. So we'll dump those four pallets right there. And we won't use them. We're not going to bother doing any more really with the field here. I just want to get that one finished. Once that's finished being done, then then we can leave that one. I do need to tidy this yard up. That's another thing that I need to do, right? We've got stuff everywhere. It's a little tidier than it was, but we do still have bales lying around. We don't have much in the way of sheds, and it could really do with being tidied up a bit. So I do know that is one of the things that's on my to-do list, is getting this place tidied up a bit. Uh, you, yeah, I'm going to ignore you for a minute. It's this one here that I want to go and have a look at. We are very nearly almost empty. Very nearly almost empty indeed, actually. Now, we're only leasing this machine. I did just have a thought. I'm going to turn the hired help off a minute. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down there and manually engage it just to run up across here. But no, what my thought was... I've got these poplars here. As soon as I've emptied this thing out, we'll go over next to the poplar plants that are over there, the, the crates that are over there, and I will load up another one. And then when I, I'll reset it then to the shop, and that will just eliminate that one. Once that one's eliminated, we can then come back and see about... Um, I know I'm planting this one the wrong way, and it, it, it's probably making some of you not very happy. But it's done. There, we're finished. See? All empty. We've got through there. Yep, it's not going to do a thing. Okay. So if I bring this one down and I load it up, we'll get one of those full pallets loaded onto it, reset it to the shop, and then I can return it. Resetting it to the shop will obviously uh, eliminate the pallet. So then we've only got three pallets on here. I cannot see that we're going to be using these pallets again. Once we're done... What, what, yeah, no, I'm, I'm never going to be using these again, am I? Oh, it's doing it the wrong way. It's not supposed to do it like that. Actually, that's not a bad thing. I now it's being especially weird because it's taken those out of there and it's not put a pallet onto my machine. So I've now got empty pallets sat down there. That is very weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Right. Uh, I want to go to there. Uh, no, not you. I want to go to you, and I want to reset you. Yes, it was reset to the shop. Okay. I will leave you there, and what we're going to do is we're going to just skip up to the shop up here, and that should be empty. Just double, double checking that it was up here. And we go to the garage, and then I go uh, least items like that. Scroll through. Damcon right there. Return. Yes. There we go. Right, that's that bit done. So next, we want to just check the map, and we want to see what the... Well, we know what the growth is like on there, but lime. Apparently, this one needs lime. And if you remove the plowing, we've got a lime requirement on the field up there as well. So I think what we'll do to start with is we do want to get lime onto this field because we want to get the poplars done. We'll worry about liming the other stuff later on. But right now we do want to get poplars done. Helper B has completed their task. No, you have not. Don't come at me with I've finished my work when you blatantly...
certainly clearly have not finished your work. They're doing this again, aren't they? They're constantly we're having this battle with our employees telling us that they finished their work when they quite clearly have not finished their work. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm starting to get a little disappointed with this. I, I thought that these people were better. I thought these people wished to remain employed, but apparently I was mistaken on both counts. Just take that little bit out there. And then we'll go whizzing up over here to the next bit. And I will put the hired help going on here. We'll see how it copes. Because obviously we got it. We do have to do this bit as well, don't we? So let's go to there. And you can start work. Right, so we should now. The soil composition. Growth. The entire thing is now cultivated. Which is looking fanschmabulous. So I'll let that one, that one, that, yep, that one can carry on. And we're going to want lime. Now, it's all well and good us saying that we want lime. See, those two pallets there, they're going to drive me balmy, they are. They're empty. They shouldn't be there. They should not exist. Should not even be a thing. We're down to minus 2,200. That would be because of using the tractor up the top. Which means that we've got no way of being able to buy any more lime. Our lime spreader is empty. Uh, hmm. That's not good because I want the poplars to yield as much as possible. I don't know if poplars are affected by lime. We know that grass is not affected by lime. And we know that some things aren't. But I don't know if those are affected by lime. Uh, let's go back to the soil composition. I'll take that off and... We could do with a coat of fertilizer. So I'll see if we can put a coat of fertilizer on that field. I could always... Uh, I was just wondering if I could lime in the morning. I'd rather get the liming done tonight if we can. I've only got a thousand liters of fertilizer here. That's not actually very much. I'll go... R now, th this, this is the big question. is Can I even apply the fertilizer? Uh, sort of. I can apply it to the bit where the crop is planted, but it's not allowing me to apply it to the bit where the crop isn't planted because I've already applied it onto that bit. So it's, we've got this very weird kind of stripey effect going on. And, well, no, I don't think the lime is going to do that. I don't that the lime, in theory, that wouldn't apply the stripey effect that we've got right here. But... This is certainly going to give us a stripey effect. As soon as I've done this once around the edge, I'll go and put the hired help going on this, and then we can take a look at it on the map, and we can investigate this stripey appearance, and also just see if it's going to allow the hired help to do the spreading anyway. It may not. It may decide that it doesn't like it. In the slightest, not even a tiny little bit. So if I come down to there, and... I'm all the way down. There we go. Right, well, it's looking fine on there at the moment. And by going over with the second pass, it's definitely put a much thicker layer of poplars down here. And I go H. Well, it's working. It's definitely putting that onto there. You look at this, though. <laughs> We've got these stripes everywhere. Are you interested? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll see how that works out. Okay, so uh, wheat... Water is fine for the sheep. They're doing well. Horses, they seem to be doing fairly well as well. We've got no issues there. And this lot over here, they're, they're doing even better. Okay. 55% uh, though. So we're not going to need very much in the way of horses. Um, well, we're not going to need to do anything to the animals at all. You come up through. So now what's it going to do? Well, it looks like it's going to actually do the passes properly. Because... Uh, it's like we can't we can't do the whole thing. Right, I'm going to let that one go there. And then, oh no, I want to go to this one. Let's just have a look. How much wool have we got? We've got... Well, we've got three. I want it... Well, I'd like to do lime tonight. I've got minus 2,000 of them. Actually, we could do... We, we As long as we get enough for the... How much are we getting for? 1,800. That's not brilliant. The speed time up a bit. I go to 120, like that. And I'll see if that's going to creep up a little bit. 
It's actually going up very, very slowly. Might be a little bit too slowly. What time does the mill close? That's our next question. The spinnery over there, what time does that close? I mean, 1,900 roughly for wool. That's fine. That's going to get us enough money to be able to get the lime. So we'll, we'll go until 6. As soon as we reach 6 p.m., we will stop the time fast forwarding. That will give us just a little bit of extra wool that we can go and collect as well. And hopefully a slightly better price. You see, 1893. Ooh! Ha 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 ha! Okay! Right, I, I know that it really does... <laughs> I know that looks really suspicious. It looks like I've already gone and checked and um, found a source of money. I do do that sometimes, but only in the time lapse. I go and I look ahead and I see what the um, the economy is going to give us so that I can plan ahead which crops would be the best ones to, pl to plant. Um, you know, a lot of you will have guessed that already anyway. Um, it's just it keeps the, the time lapse sort of progressing nicely because um, then it takes care of the cash flow issues. But I don't ever do that on the normal Let's Plays because we just kind of take it as it goes. But so that was actually a genuine remarkable coincidence right there, which I'm just, I'm genuinely, I'm amazed. Two sixes, that's brilliant. That is absolutely fantastic. Right, let's grab you. That is, I genuinely did not expect that to happen. That is really awesome. Um, we get you right here. We will have a little bit of fertilizer that we'll have to finish in a minute. And we bring this one up here. So we've got to take all of the wool now. It doesn't give us the option for just doing part of it. It's you. Just, yep, you to start loading. So we take that one right there. And I'll press you again. And I'm going to press Y to unload onto the trailer. And then I'm going to put the straps on like that. So, yes, we do now take the empty pallets as well as the full pallets. Right? That is a thing that we now do. But the way round that, help us see, oh no, this, this isn't help us see. This one is back down here. So you're going to just confuse yourself majorly if I leave you running. I'll go up there. There's not actually very much to do, so I can just go and do that. There we go. Right. Uh, that one can go, and then... You've got one little tiny bit over there that I want to go and pick up in just a second. So let's go and take you. Helper A is completed. Yeah, it didn't take long to do that bit. We go and sell this little bit of wool. It's not very much. We know it's not very much, but it's enough. So, yeah, as we've now got this one, it picks up the empty pallets as well. It's really, really good where it only picks up the full pallets. That was genuinely awesome, and I would personally prefer to have it like that and then have a second option for picking up um, empty and full pallets together because you, you could combine the two. You could use the two different options. Uh, but that's not that's not something that we've got. We kind of had a choice between um, all or just the full. Um, so, you know, having all is, is probably for the best. Uh, so if I go I'll take those off of there and I'll take that one out so that one goes underneath. 39,000 right there. 1,800 on there. I need to knock you down a bit, I think. And then come out from under there. Right. Yeah, I just needed to get that front bit close enough to the ground, really. So then I can load you up and we can put the straps back on. So with this like this, we can unload pallets really, really easily. You go and pick up the full pallets. And you sell them, and then you bring them... You, you, well, you go and pick up all the pallets. You sell the full ones, and then you bring it all back, and you you can unload them. And you can do this really, really carefully, and you can also pick up um, some of the pallets as well. And we're going to mess around with this with the chicken eggs in a couple days' time, because we'll have a whole load more chicken eggs, and I'm hoping we'll better get some really good prices for them. So we got six there. I think we got six over the other one. We've got six on that one. And we should have six on that one as well. Yes. So we've got six pallets on each. That's more than we can take on a full trailer, though. So what we'll do is we'll do it in two loads. We'll, we'll do um, 12 pallets on each. That'll be the easiest way to run it. Uh, so you just bring this over to here, like this. And all you've got to do is just bring that one up next to it, like that. Kind of about there. And... 
Right, stop you from moving a minute. Then we press B. No, we press U first to load it. And then we press U again to stop loading. Then we press B to move it over here. And then I do need this to see where I'm going. Uh, right, so auto loader, move left. So I want to move that one over there. I want to lift it slightly because that's pushing them under the ground because of the angle of the trailer. Oh, great. I didn't want it to do that. That's, uh, that's, that's messed us up. That's messed us up big time. Right. Uh, let me go to... Well, I've got auto... Well, I'll turn the auto loader back on again. Right. I was doing so well. And then I went and did that and messed it up completely. It's not supposed to do that. Right. So now we'll do that. And uh, we turn the auto load off. And then I press B put it out to there and then I want to move it out that way a bit and I want to lift it so move up auto loader J just lift that up into the air only a fraction it doesn't need to go up very much and that's probably close enough to the front and be just fine so if I press Y now there we go perfect absolutely spot-on perfect so that's got our main six pallets right where we want them and somebody has told me that what you can actually do and i didn't know this what you can actually do is if we go over to you and you get the pallet there you can actually load you can pick up a pallet a part pallet and put it hang it over the top of one of the other ones and it will pour everything into the other pallet and so they said i don't know if they're lying to me or whether it's the just the mod ones there, I've got 162 litres in there. Right, so if I bring that one out like that, and then I lift this one up there, and I put it over there. Just that, empty. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, fine, I'm going to leave it up there anyway. I'm just going to leave it stacked, one on top of the other, and we'll find out if it works while it's stacked. We know that it works while it's on top of a trailer to load but we'll see now if it works while it's stacked one on top of the other like that because that could be an interesting little experiment okay so that's that bit done and we've now sold the wool i've got a tractor there that i need to bring back home and you over here i'm just going to bring you back this way and actually we'll move, we'll drive you up over here so you're out the way because if we're now able to go and get a bit of lime, we're going to want a bit more room for it. Uh, actually, we don't need to go and get lime. What we will do, just to make our life easier so that we don't have to be going and buying the stuff all the time, we will go into here and we will get the placeable lime station. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, maybe I've not activated it, but I have activated it. If I straighten up my steering wheel. We'll bring that one all the way down here. So we've got a seed tank there. We've got a fertilizer tank over there. And because this is also a type of fertilizer, I'm putting this one over here as well. That one I'm going to put down there. That one's going to go near the fertilizer. We'll put that one sort of right into the hill into there. Perfect. Just like that. I don't know if that is perfect. That might be in the wrong spot. That may mess us up completely. We will find out in a minute. So now we'll run this one down. We can unload. I only used 583 litres of fertiliser off of this. We've now got this field fertilised. That's all done. So the next thing is I want to put lime on this field. And I might just go and put a bit of lime on that grass field. Just on the bit that still needed lime on it. Um, just so that it's done. So it's got an even spread. Uh, well, no, actually no, we're leaving that field as grass, as that's a permanent grass field, so we, we absolutely don't need to do that, it'd be a complete waste of time. Come out here, and we go there, so we grab our little lime spreader, there, and we'll do exactly the same as we normally do, we'll do once around the edge of the field, and then we'll set the hired help going, and we'll put lime across that entire field. So we've got our new lime tank up here. How close am I going to need to get? The, the big question is the fertilizer up the other side. Right? Now, I bring that one into there. Uh, no, N. I need to make sure that I don't accidentally load fertilizer. So, I'm going to go down this side. 
I don't like that it... I shouldn't have put it here. This this is definitely the wrong spot here, wasn't it? All right, I'll tell you what. We're going to have to do a little bit of landscaping on here to put this... We, we, we've got some corrective work to do now. So we go to there, and we go to landscaping, and we go to there. Right, so we're going to bring that one down, and we go to you. So first I want to lower that down like that and again and then I want to actually if I just go with the middle button I want to just lower this edge here a bit like that so it's not quite so savage looking around the front here that's all I really want to do there that might, that might actually be enough. I think that might be enough there. So we can also just go around and do a bit there. Because that does look pretty savage looking along the back there as well. So sort of level that through. Bring that around a bit more. Maybe like that. Right. Let's try that. It has now left... Like, we've, we've got these little concrete lumps stuck up in the air a bit. But I can live with that because it, it, we, we are able to get close enough now to, to make this work properly. So now if I press R, I'm actually close enough to be able to use the lime on it, which is a good thing. And yes, I know that that one is visually up in the air. Ooh. You know what we can do to sort that bit out? We've got one other option in the landscaping bit that we can use just to sort that out so it's not stuck up in the air because we don't really want it let's just let this one fill up a minute that's all loaded up so I close that one down and obviously we'd want to be able to go through there I think you know we're, we're, it's not really suitable at the moment for traveling through that little bit up there so I think that maybe we need to redesign this part of the yard just a little bit so to start with what we can do is if we go right in here and I'll make that a little bit smaller, like that. Now, I press the two mouse buttons together. And that actually does that. So that's just going to bring that up a little bit. Because it, it does that kind of leveling thing, doesn't it? And then here, I'm... Yeah, all I'm doing now is I'm, I'm undoing what I just did. So I want to do the two mouse buttons together, like that. So maybe what I need to do, I know I've got the, br the brush strength is like really high at the moment, which is probably not helping this. But if I bring that through there like that, this is what I'm thinking, is we can fill that bit. And we can bring that through to there. And then bring it back this way. Trying to avoid the rest of it. Uh, I don't want to go any closer than that. And then... Bring that up there, fill in that little bit, right. So now I'll use the leveling bit. Well, we'll make that a little bit wider now. Bring that out to there. Actually, no, I'll go back one notch. And I'll level the sides of this, right? There, we can sort of smooth that down like that. And we'll do the same there on the edges of the sheep pasture. And then along there on the edges of the horses. Yeah, like that. So it sort of filled in a lot more, but it's made it a more practical track that we'd be able to use. We'll, th this is now something that we can actually drive on rather than sort of most of that area in behind there was sort of unusable for the most part. But by doing this, we've rendered it now so that we can actually go and use it. So I, I can now drive up through here. I can bring my machine up to there and I can load my machine on there. And yeah, we've got our road back through that way. And then I can come up along here and I'm going along this track. And I can go both ways on the track as well. It's, it's smooth enough for me to be able to run around on both sides. Okay, I, I like that a lot better. I do. that. I think that is quite an improvement, getting that little bit of a track to work just right on there. So now we come up through here, and we need to get this one spread out and opened. We go up to there. 
And we want to do once around the edge, and then hopefully the hired help will do the rest. So we'll start you. Let's try not to stay still too long with this. Like the ordinary fertilizer, you can get away with staying still a little bit. This one, you absolutely cannot get away with staying still at all. It just doesn't work. It doesn't like it at all. And then we'll come up around there like that. Right. So far, so good. Now all we've got to do is finish going around. The hired help will do most of this, but we do have that one tree in a way, which I think is going to cause us a little bit of trouble. We may have to go back over and do another, like, slight tidy up pass on this afterwards. But then we, ha we have to do that with everything on this field. This field is a little bit awkward. And then we come down through to... How long does poplars take to grow? That's, that's going to be the next big question. Is how long do these take to grow? Are they like a standard crop or do they take twice as long? I mean, it's not going to be a bad thing for us if they take twice as long. Because it means we get twice as much wool and twice as many eggs. And we know that eggs are worth a fortune. And those eggs are what are going to pay for the biogas plant. So that we can get that one unlocked and we'll be able to do our big thing of silage. Uh, the big thing of silage... We don't necessarily have to do it. We know just how profitable the eggs are on this map. So we could really just like stop producing for a bit and or just make sure that we've got enough to be able to keep the, the chickens and the horses and everything going. And then not do a lot else and kind of have the focus just on that. And by doing that, then we'd very quickly be able to accumulate the money that we need to buy the big fields, and then we move on. But I get the impression from comments and things that I've said previously that a lot of you do what you're enjoying this series, and you're liking what I'm doing on this map, um, and you want me to stay here until we've done our jobs properly. I mean, yes, I'm getting suggestions now for uh, other places that we can go. Um, some people are saying that we should go to the old streams farm, because I didn't... I, I, didn't do that one in FS17 at all. Um, that one's available. And I've been getting suggestions for other farms as well. So I don't really know where we're going to go yet. And we will think about that at some point. But we do have quite a few things I'd like to do on here. Obviously, we've got these poplars that we want to test out. This could very well be the only poplar planting and harvesting that we do in FS19. So we'll, we'll make sure that we get this one done. And we've got our big fields up there that we're sort of working towards. But once we've done this, and then we've bought the biogas plant, and we've done a big silage harvest up there, really we'll have done a huge amount of what we want to be able to... what we originally set out to accomplish on this map, which was get as much done as we possibly could. Um, we we kind of wanted to cover all of our bases on here. And then in our next map, that's the one we'll take the debt that we've got from this one, we'll take that with us. We'll sell some of the land off of here. We'll see how much money we get and we'll buy a bit of land on the next map so that we're, we're more established on the next one. And then we're going to be looking at getting rid of debt and things like that. Well, that's most of it. And he's actually done a really good job of getting an even spread all the way across the field. Which genuinely surprises me. Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.